I'm going to take a relatively deep dive into the topic of body transformation. Weight loss is too generic. Fat loss is the goal for the majority of exercises out there in the real world. And as I talk about this complex topic, you can watch me work. And if you're interested in getting details of vis a -vis training, I suggest you watch my other videos and get familiar with my various styles. I will attempt to answer a couple of questions like, how long does it take to get in shape? And how do I look like a certain person here if I start training like them now? We can talk about things like tools and gadgets, right? Body shaping and sculpting are hard. And I know what you're thinking. No shit, Sherlock. Well, screw you. Okay, all right, we've gotten a bit off topic. It's imperative that we make exercise a lifestyle choice. Waiting for the perfect gym or class can lead you into an abyss of inactivity, for sure. Gadgets may provide the necessary variety that you need to stay active. There's a ton of garbage out there in the market, but you can find some simple tools to help you support your fitness lifestyle. Right here, I'm using an Iron Chest Master, just a variety of doing push-ups for me because I've been doing push-ups for so long. You can find some of the gadgets that will allow you to use the same muscles that work when you're using expensive gym equipment, for sure. I know I want to look great, and as good as I look while doing this exercise, I'm certainly stimulating some good muscle growth, and you can see some of the details in my pecs, my anterior deltoids and biceps. I definitely have to get much leaner in order for me to see my body. I have to manage my expectations. I get my body much leaner. You can see a great difference in how this exercise works, but there are limits. I have some genetic potential that I know is great, but I also have some limits and I'll never look as good as some of my role models. Take, for example, my guy, Justin Baker here doing the same exercise, but he's an elite level natural bodybuilder. And even me using expensive equipment training the same exercises, I'll never look like him. Look at Sean Clarita. This is the 2022 Mr. Olympia in the 212 condition. The best bodybuilder in the world in his weight class, 212. Doing a basic bicep, but look at his shoulders. Look at the details in his biceps and triceps. This guy was 135, and this is me at 185 doing strict curls. And you can see the separation between my biceps, triceps, and shoulders. But you can't see those striations, one, because I'm about 50 pounds heavier than him. Two, he has a natural propensity to be lean. And number three, he was focused on staying lean because he never ate junk food and he kept on a very lean protein. He was using IsoPure at the time and he barely ate more than chicken and rice. He never really ate uh, a lot of dirty carbohydrates or dirty fats. He kept himself very lean. So all of that makes a difference besides the fact that this man has genetics to be the best in the world. I can only do my best, and this is me at 180 pounds, relatively lean, but I can still look good. Repeat jump squats make me feel like a kid again, and they're great for developing strength and power in the legs. Going from there to my bicep curls. Well, it's been 25 days. Oh, yeah, it's Tarashi. It's been 25 days since I started my cross-training routine where I do plyometrics with a traditional bodybuilding exercise and add functional fitness into the mix. This is how I've been doing my weight loss journey. Go
Total fitness calisthenic exercises. As you can see, I'm doing knee tucks to push-ups on the stability ball, getting my chest and abs involved. Then I do some ball exchanges. So three different modalities of training in one. And after these 25 days, it's down 13 pounds. I got five more.